and uh, hopefully they will be also in the audience as well here today. So a big round of applause for the finalists. <clears throat> Commissioner, I would welcome you back on stage and you will be joined by the jury member Helene Koch, who's policy advisor in CEPF, the Confederation of European Forest Owners, and they represent users and owners. Um, and I think if we look back at the 30 years of Natura 2000, it has been critical to engage the owners and users, and we welcome the partnership and support of CEPF and others. So, Helene, could you announce this year's winner? Yes, Nigel, so thanks for the very kind word and for the socio-economic benefit. The winner is Social Inclusion and Managing of Invasive Alien Species from Spain. So we're joined, I think, by Blanca Serrano uh, of SEO on screen. And we have some colleagues here in Brussels, uh, Felipe Gonzalez and uh, other colleagues. So congratulations to all of you. But maybe before we take a nice photograph with the commissioner, if I could invite Elaine, maybe to say what was special in relation to this application? Why did it succeed? Okay, so, well, as you may guess, it was difficult because we had extremely high quality um, participants. Uh, but I have to admit that I'm going to, to slip on, on the confidentiality of the agreement because it was a, almost a total unanimity for this project. Because removing invasive alien species isn't original, let's be fair. But the empowerment of disabled pe people towards this project, the fact that having access to the labor market, really, this is innovative. And this is really something that we thought was also replicable, linked to the, the financing through the Life Fund. And this is how we can see that Natura 2000 and the Life Funding can go hand in hand. Um, and this cooperation between social and environmental organization, uh, regional, so like, well, was very inspiring and just it, they won our heart. Very good. <laughs> yeah. um, yes, indeed, and this is a very rich partnership. It's not only SEO, but it's also a range of other bodies that have been involved. Could maybe I ask one or two questions, and if you, you, if you want to feel you can use the, the podium. Um, well, firstly, what does it mean for you to have won this particular award in terms of recognizing your initiative? Uh, well, this is a recognition very important for us. We are an alliance of uh, environmental association like SEO and social, like Amica, Ampros, and Cerca, and with the support of the Cantabrian government, which has been very important. And there has been 32 people with disabilities working for years, working very, very hard, and it's very, very important for us, this recognition. Also, it's, a, it's a special project because we, we work with special persons, and I think we are a, an example of how we uh, use uh, this kind of people in, in conserve and restore our nature, no? because we are not only fighting against an invasive plant, uh, we are all also uh, restore the, the land after the removal of this, uh, these uh, plants. And also, I think we are, uh, it's an example of uh, that uh, we can uh, give an opportunity for this uh, person in the, in the future of the natural restoration in Europe. Thank you. Um, maybe if we could join for a photograph, please, with the commissioner. Yeah, we'll are there. Um, please. Oh, yeah, if you want to make a, a quick intervention, please. Yes, of course. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you for this award that uh, recognizes uh, our five decades uh, Pampa Grass. Uh, thank you to Santiago, uh, Felipe, Ampros, Cerca, Silver Life, Amica. 
participants uh, of this project. <laughs>